So we are uploading our new video and the fastest Wi-Fi spot, which just happened to be McDonald's. We went to so many restaurants and they were either very expensive per hour or it just wasn't fast enough. So yeah, at the end of the day, this is the best. Uh, this and getting water at the marina tomorrow morning is the last thing we have to do in St. Thomas and then we're going to go enjoy some tropical island paradise for a few days because we kind of deserve it. We spent a week in St. Thomas doing nothing but boat work and video editing and we're ready to get back to the beaches. What are we doing this morning? We are going to get some water at the marina, Crown Bay Marina. I think it's the first time that we get to marina just to get water and then after that we're off to another island So much better than hauling it in jerry cans, especially without a dinghy motor. The morning looks great. It's like a huge chunk of uh, solid concrete, so we're not going to go anywhere. But the water is beautiful. It's the cleanest water I think we've been in since the Bahamas. Buck Island is a small island just a few miles south of the main bay in St. Thomas. Known for its lovely dive sites, numerous laughing gulls, and free moorings, we were excited to check it out. Although the island itself is a protected bird sanctuary, we were able to climb on the rocky section and check out the views of the nearby islands and the thousands of nesting laughing gulls. Oh. <laughs> you having trouble there? Apparently, I need more practice rowing this thing. It doesn't help that my arms are wicked tired, but my right arm is definitely much stronger than my left arm, so... Don't hit the tram in. <laughs> We're not by ourselves anymore, guys. There's another... Tourists. Ugh. <laughs> like Where are you going? <laughs> Turn. It's like your brain is tired and your arms are tired, Everything which is, is like... Tired. Just like a really bad combination. Are we going anywhere? Eventually, look, we came from back here, so we, <laughs> just, keep, we just keep turning towards the catamaran. <laughs> Try <Trying> around. <laughs> oh my god, maybe, maybe I just want to go say hi. That's all. I feel like we've been beside these rocks for like 10 minutes. I feel like we're, we have a current. 
Oh, uh, is that what you think? I'm just gonna say we have a current. There's a current coming directly at us from the shore. Also, the, the seat is pinching my butt because the seat is broken. The seats suck, it's true. <laughs> Good morning everyone, today we're sailing out of Buck Island and we're going to Christmas Cove. That's really good though. I'm going for it. Oh my gosh, this looks like amazing. We're gonna eat this whole pizza tonight, you realize. How do I eat it? Mmm. Mmm. That was worth it. Yeah? That was so good. <laughs> Fresh pizza on a sailboat in the Caribbean. Such a great idea. So two years ago, we got interviewed by Trisha and her podcast, Keep Your Daydream. Um, that I was think two years? That was two years ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I think since then, we've watched a lot of her other interviews, and one of them was Pizza Pie. They decided to turn a food truck idea into a whole new level. They got an aluminum boat and they flipped it and turned it into a like an industrial floating kitchen food floating truck. pizza joint. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Christmas Cove is kind of on our way through. We're heading to St. John, like the north side of St. John, mm -hmm. maybe tomorrow or the next day. So we figured we'd stop here. Yeah. And, and then, then we're when pulling we, in. And then we pulled in and we saw this weird looking boat. <laughs> and then they had a flag up that says pizza pie open. We're like, we're like that's the pizza joint they were talking we, about. I think we both had the exact same look <laughs> at the exact same time. We looked at each other, we're like, oh, we found it. <laughs> Located in the heart of the U.S. Virgin Islands, Pizza Pie is a must-try. With their diverse menu and unique toppings, they sell some of the best pizzas we've ever had. People from all over the world travel here just to have a taste of their delicious meals. And the best part? They'll even deliver straight to your boat. crazy busy and a little stressed out, you have to take a minute and look outside and appreciate where you are. Um, we see dolphins sometimes out here, we see turtles, um, stingrays, starfish, so you know it's, just, it's pretty incredible. And we meet people from all over the world and everybody that comes here is in a great mood. Yeah. You That's know, true. they're they're on a boat. The sun is out. Yeah. They're, on they're vacation. drinking. They're on vacation. <laughs> they just want some good food. You know, Every, everybody's happy. So we're gonna finish our bigaritas, finish our pizza, enjoy this somewhat mediocre sunset. Hey, it's a sunset. And, Every um, sunset is different, right? See what tomorrow brings. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. That's really yummy too. Yummy.
What are you about to do? I'm going to bring down the U.S. courtesy flag and pull off the cute flag. I don't want to lose a cute flag, so I have a little method of make sure it stays in place. All right, we are officially checked in into the BBIs. We are meeting with one of our patrons in a few days and we figured we might as well just come in the BBIs early. But the funny thing is to check in at the BBIs, it cost us $22 for the boat and 50 cents per person to check in. So that was good. One thingy is not like the other. I wonder which one it is. Hey, I know this game, right? Uh, I know. Especially on cocktail. So one thing that happens here at Fox's is everybody that comes here leaves their mark. Either they sign the place or they leave a card or they write on the post. And we're going to leave our Uma card today. Where are we gonna Stay put it? Somewhere. We're gonna put it somewhere. Right here. Like at the bar. Boom. Yeah? Boom. So if you guys are ever in Foxy's, you should uh, find our card, snap a picture, send it to us, and we'll try to send you some Uma gear when we get it. We're anchored right here in Joost van Dijk. Uh, we just checked in two days ago. And I think our plan is going to sail around to the north side of Tortola before sailing south to like Norman's Island, maybe back to St. John, we'll see. And then heading back up to like Virgin Gorda along the southeast coast. And then from Virgin Gorda, probably heading down to Safa straight after. I think we're going to skip the St. Martin area. We'll see. Well, it looks like the tide came up a little bit and it's got our dinghy stuck underneath the dock. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get it out somehow. We might have to sink it. Uh, I might just fill it full of water, <laughs> kind of like this. It's it will sink. And down she goes, and out she comes. Oh, your shoes. <laughs> oh no, the shoes! Where's the other one? <laughs> So these dinghy seats are pretty much on their last legs. Uh, I just had just had this last little part poke me in the butt, and um, <laughs> it's gone. Hopefully, it lasts till we make it back to the boat. We really need to get some plywood and uh, fix these things up a little better. I feel like I feel like it squeaks less. Oh, it does squeak less because. <laughs> Because this is not all great. of my weight is about to be on the bottom of this dinghy. <laughs> if I'm not careful. Woohoo! You made it 
until the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss our next step when we practice an improv medieval board drill, but with a Jurassic twist. <laughs> And if you guys want even more before next week, you should go over to Patreon and sign up so you can get instant access to the vault on our website where we've buried a bunch of behind the scenes and deleted stuff and funny stuff that we just haven't put in any of our videos. But until next week, cheers! Oh, what was it? Something was leaking on me. Did you press it? <laughs> <laughs>